Now, Hawaii's modern day laws are fairly progressive in protecting LGBTQ rights, but that wasn't always the case if you look at the island's history. Yeah, today we want to take you back to that chapter known as the Glades era, where drag performers couldn't walk the streets without fear of being beaten or arrested. Glaze was a time of glitz and glam. Um, that's basically what it was. When Jareen Madayag entered the drag scene in the late 70s, the Glades nightclub was a safe haven. The club's energy was just so, it was vibrant. I walked in that club when I was 17 years old. It was, it was like we were in our own little world in that point because when we were outside of the club, it was different. Inside the club, Hawaii's premier female impersonators took the stage in multiple shows a week. And then as you walk in, your the bar is on the left, and you're, if you look straight ahead, the stage is there, and it's this huge, huge stage, two stories, two um, levels. It was the epitome of glamour and fantasy, but outside, the performers were walking targets. Even though everything is glitz and glamour, everything is beautiful and everything, you have to realize that what you see is on the inside is not really what you see on the outside. Sometimes the police were doing the harassing. The girls talked about that, how they're, they're, they would get hit on the back of the legs, back of the head with the, the bully sticks. Connie Flores is a filmmaker in the midst of a nearly 20-year project putting together a documentary on the Glades era. It was a hard time. I have old pictures of signage, pool halls around in the area that say no mahus allowed in this restaurant. So was the oppression real? Yes. You got to remember, this is a time period of civil rights for blacks. And yet we have this going on right here in Hawaii within our own indigenous culture of mahus in Hawaii. So it's, it was a very sad time and a very hard time. Drag performers faced jail time and hefty fines under the intent to deceive law of 1963. They were forced to wear a button labeling themselves as a boy, and authorities even tried to contain them within specific blocks of Chinatown. For Mahus, as you know, it was like, you don't have job security, there's so much discrimination, you can't even get an apartment. So a lot of homeless, a lot of prostitution, and if you can get a job somewhere, it's like, thank you, God. Offstage, performers were viewed as outcasts of society, relegated to life on the streets, prostitution, and violent attacks. I could say at least three times when I was out there. I've had one of my real close close girlfriends who got beat up so bad that she ended up leading, um, in the hospital with a broken jaw and was, it was bad, it was bad. The intent to deceive law was repealed in 1972. The buttons from that era, now a symbol of past oppression. It's just crazy the things that we had to avoid or had to run away from. I mean, we've come a long, 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 long. We still have a long, long ways to go, but we've come a long ways from where we had what we had before. We have a lot to learn from this Mahu community, you know, and it's just, uh, it's important. Yes, it can happen again, and history repeats itself. And if we don't teach our generations today what was, it will repeat itself again. That was a look at the Glades era. Again, a very tumultuous time in Hawaii's history. And listening to those stories, I'm so moved. And that's what Pride is all about. It's about celebrating equality, where we are today, how far we've come, and of course, laying down uh, the people who laid down the groundwork um, for us to be here today. Absolutely, that was fantastic reporting, Dylan. I mean, Thank you, you so see much. pride you. and it's a big celebration, right? But there are, you know, it, it comes from these stories uh, and it shows you what a long way we've come, but of course, always still move, uh, more room for improvement. Yeah, too. most definitely. All right, let's switch gears now and take a look live 